I'm Natasha Rodriguez. I'm the team leader for supportive housing Hope Street based at Brisbane Common Ground. Our team supports the tenants of Brisbane Common Ground to maintain and sustain their tenancies. In the beginning of COVID, um, some people didn't believe that COVID was happening. They thought it was um, something that was just made up. Um, some people were quite anxious about COVID, didn't know what to do. It was quite uncertain for them. It was challenging for them. So as staff members, we decided the first thing we needed to do was educate people. And we did different ways of educating people. Another thing that we did was we decided staff had to make contact with, with tenants on a regular basis. like especially on a daily basis and that's what we did and we did that through telephone we did that through knocking at the door and if anybody was uh, anxious we could refer them to the nurse and that made a big difference having a nurse in the team because then the nurse could actually assist people if they had a sore throat they had or they had a temperature or they had flu-like symptoms they could also be referred to the inclusive health clinic next door to brisbane common ground so we had Quite, we were quite creative during that period where we thought of what can we do in order for people to stay in the home, be safe and keep the community safe. So we did little things like craft packs for people, um, we made contact, we decided to give people telephones so they could actually ring their family members, their loved ones. Um, and, and the trick to all this was just keeping that regular contact no matter what. It was. It, and education was a highlight of all this because once people were educated regarding COVID, people started understanding and people realized um, how detrimental COVID could be if it comes into this building. So fortunately, we didn't have any, so that's great. Also, we have a chef in our team. So usually on Wednesdays, we have a community meal. Uh, we tend to have 40 tenants that attend the community meal. We had to be creative during this period as to not disrupt people's routine, but at the same time be able to um, have the service delivery that we normally do. And so we decided to do takeaways. So having a chef in the team, she could do some cooking. We went to people's doors, knocked at the doors, gave them takeaway. We were also fortunate to have the Hope Street Cafe, where they opened their cafe in the mornings where tenants could go and access meals. I'm thankful for being part of MICA Projects. MICA Projects showed great leadership um, during this COVID period, and it continues to. Um, the state government's initiative of giving us extra funding has helped Brisbane Common Ground, where we could actually um, hire extra staff to help us out during this period. Um, a big thank you goes to the staff members of Brisbane Common Ground because um, if, if it wasn't for them, we would not have this smooth transition. Um, they came daily to work no matter what. They were there with a smiling face. Moving forward, we, I would like to see that we continue being creative, the way we deliver our service, being flexible and being adaptable to the day-to-day -day needs.